GM, say it back. I realize if you're still watching this video that you are interested in NFTs. And along with everything else that's going on in the world, the NFT market has definitely taken a hit. We see that in the housing market, the stock market, the Pokemon card market, sports card market, all market. But we're still here, we're still learning, and we're still trying to figure out how to navigate this Web3 community. Now I realize I haven't made a video in a little bit. I was actually at Art Basel, which is a huge Web3 event. As you can see here, I got to meet a lot of really cool people, YouTubers, people that are traders, all sorts of builders. It was a great networking opportunity. Now I'm just gonna start off by saying I am sick. I, I am exhausted from the trip. But today we're gonna go over some upcoming projects, the way that I'm navigating this bear market, and some news stories on things that have happened recently within the nft space per usual if you're looking for an nft community to join canto labs is a subscription based group here you can get access to tons of whitelist opportunities and a group of very active traders that are still around during the bear market we're working hard to make canto labs one of the best groups so feel free to check it out i'll drop the link down below on this video specifically i'm going to be giving away two free monthly passes to canto labs all you have to do is drop a like and a comment let me know how you like this content and I'll pick two of you and we'll get you all situated in Canto Labs. To begin, we're going to use OpenSea volume on Dune as an indicator as to how the space is living as of right now. The volume has dropped off in a huge way, but it doesn't feel as bad as it used to because I think a lot of us are starting to get used to it. People's trading strategies have changed and I think that the people that stuck around are going to have a much better chance of succeeding if and when there is another bull run because they're going to learn from these mistakes and if you're trading in a market that has low volume it's going to help you a lot when there is a lot more volume so the first thing that i wanted to talk about today is artifact last night the community was very displeased with the way that their monolith box unraveled essentially the way that it works is within these monolith boxes that you can mint if you're a clone x holder within them are physical shoes that you can buy this tweet right here states the artifact monolith 2 was a mint pass and a 130 to 333 dollar coupon for a 600 to 1300 dollar pair of sneakers so the way it works is you had to own a clone x to then mint a monolith box which then when you opened it gave you a discount to be able to purchase a physical pair of sneakers but that's not all the only way that you could claim these shoes if you decided to buy them was if you were in the United States. And this pissed people off for a good reason because Web3 is worldwide. And if I'm being candid, I felt like this entire situation was just a runaround. Like, I, I just, I know it's easy in hindsight to say like, oh, you know, th this and that, whatever. Like, I, I know what I would have done in this seat, whatever. But the fact is, is that this was very inconvenient to holders. It was very deceiving and i just feel bad because to me we are always looking for utility and all this kind of stuff and an artifact made a shit ton of money on royalties off clonex in general like all of it and it's just like man to, to only be offering a discount code on something like that it just it felt like a kick in the stomach i'm not a clonex holder but that's just my thought on it the founders did come out and say huge error not having communicated about the us only shipping of the crypto kicks irl and really sorry the disappointment that this creates they tweeted on the main page saying that they're gonna re-airdrop a new box or whatever the case is gonna be and that they're gonna try to make it up to the holders the main thing that i did want to bring up about this is really that even these blue chip projects are still working through a lot of these nuances of being an nft project one of the best traders in the NFT space, Eric, actually made a tweet saying, Moonbirds failed their holders big time with CCO and fanny packs. Artifact now completely failing their holders with the sneakers monolith situation. And Doodles, well, they can't fail their holders just because they don't say anything at all. Everyone has flocked to these big projects as being considered blue chips, but I think within this bear market, we're starting to see that there are other projects that have good teams that are actually working to provide better community and better experience than what we're used to for example one being pudgy penguins a lot of people are really giving their founder luca a ton of flowers i just want you to look at this chart for pudgy penguins during this bear market we saw a bottom of an average price during one of the worst times in the middle of june at 0.93 and these have run all the way to 4.5 ETH today 
And I'm not sure if you guys remember, but Pudgy Penguins got a lot of FUD at one point. Oddly enough, Azuki also got a lot of FUD at one point, and people are, are going crazy for them. They're, they're higher than all these other blue chip projects. They're like number two. I think it's safe to say that the whole blue chip discussion is still completely up in the air, and I don't think that these projects should be categorized as blue chip because we're still so early to this that nobody really knows what the fuck is going on. In a piece of news to give you a little bit of hope about the NFT space, just the other day, there was a mega sale that happened where this entire collection of Yuga assets was bought by two different members for 525 ETH. Now, from a trading perspective, it is definitely better to buy assets like this in bulk because if you were to sell these individually, you would probably be able to get anywhere from 600 to 650 ETH for all of these. And it just goes to show that there are still huge deals being made. Now, I think one of the reasons as to why some of these blue chip projects are starting to get a bit stale is because people have wanted utility and then they haven't gotten it. A situation like Clone X might have happened and it turns people off. And bear markets show that assets that don't really have any promises are the ones that end up performing the best. Now, I do like what Yuga is doing with Bored Apes and everything. But with that being said, holders get restless sometimes because they've been given a lot of stuff. They got mutants, they got dogs, they got ape coin, land, all this stuff. But the projects that are going to stand the test of time are going to be the ones that, that don't have any utility attached to them. And that's, of course, just my opinion. In this bear market, CryptoPunks are still sitting at 64 ETH. Autoglyphs, which is arguably the number one art project on Ethereum, is sitting at 340 ETH. Now these don't change hands very often, but it does go to show that they are still holding a very high floor. Projects that I'm looking at are, are things like Chromie Squiggles. These are sitting at a 13 ETH floor. And you might say, well, Ash, I don't have all this ETH. I totally understand that. I recommend doing some research on art blocks. Now, just like anything else with any other drop, you're going to have to do research to make sure that there are certain drops that are, that are made by certain people whose name hold weight. And today I wanted to show you Fontana. This was a project that I looked at for weeks and I wanted to buy into this and I just didn't. I remember when this minted and look at this. These went from selling on day one for 0.4 and they've run all the way to 12 ETH. That's a 25 X in a little under two months. I definitely am going to keep an eye on more art blocks during this bear market and going into the bull. And so I'll try to bring as much information on this as I can. Now, with that being said, of course, I'm always looking for upcoming projects that I think that you can get whitelist for because the fact of the matter is, is that there are a lot of opportunities still in this market to flip NFTs if you get whitelist. You can take a look at Valhalla, for example. If you got whitelist for this project, it went from 0.5 all the way up to 1.5 and then it dropped to 0.7 where it's at right now. I actually had a call with the Momo Guru team today. As you can see from this graphic, this is awesome. One of their tweets said, big news today with the second partnership with Disney branded television for Intercats, a new animated cat workplace comedy on Disney Plus. They essentially couldn't share a lot of information outside of what is on their Twitter, but I am gonna stay in touch with them and I'm gonna see what ends up happening with this project because apparently their team is actually insanely stacked. And what we're looking for now is good teams, well capitalized that actually know what they're doing. So Momo Guru specifically is a project that I'm going to be looking at. And the next one is going to be Fates. I always love taking a look at websites because it gives me an idea of the amount of time and effort that projects are putting into their product. This Fates project is being ran by a team called Cauldron. In this article, you can see Cauldron raises 6.6 .6 million to build the Pixar of Web3. This is their team right here. I'll drop a link below so you can check it out. It says here that Fates is brought to you by Cauldron, a team of gaming industry veterans, having worked at Blizzard, Rebellion, Play Dead, and a bunch of other stuff. It says here our universe uses Web3 technologies. This means it is decentralized and assets are fully player owned. So what they're going to have is apparently an in-world type situation. I hate, I hate using the word metaverse, but assuming some sort of game, and it looks like the, you can still apply to get whitelist for this project on their Twitter. As usual, I'm going to put all the links down below. Once again, I'm very sick. I'm very tired. I wanted to put this video out. I've missed you guys a lot. Thank you guys for watching the content. Make sure to drop a like and a comment if you enjoy it. Take it easy, and I will see you in the next video.